D2DNY, Real World HVAC Simplified. And now, in this video, the Real World HVAC Thermostat Board, I'll be installing this Honorwell Ohm thermostat, wiring it up, and going through all the configuration or setup. Okay, so once again, this video is geared gear towards do-it-yourselfers, beginners, and pros if you want to just chime in or tune in. But yeah, so here are the wires on the thermostat board. This is the second thermostat I'm going to be doing on the D2 DNY Real World HVAC Simplified Thermostat Board or Real World HVAC Thermostat Board. As you can see, got some gauges, manifold gauges. I think these are glow in the dark, actually. I'll check it out. Hold on. Oh, yeah. They are glow in the dark. How cool is that? Anyways, back to the video. Okay, so here's what comes in the box. Got the shell right here. Okay. And welcome home. <laughs> Got some manuals. Got the uh, thermostat. Got the sub base. And this thermostat, you can see there is no C wire, so it can only be used with batteries. Okay, this thermostat cannot be powered from your HVAC unit. Okay, uh, these batteries didn't come with it. These are these were supplied by me. Supplied by D2D. It's not. It's not a part of it. this. This wasn't in the box. Um, got some uh, wire markers if you want to use that just to mark the wires label the wires so you don't make mistakes transitioning from your old thermostat to your new thermostat whatever uh, some uh, some mounting screws anchors and screws all right so let's uh, go install this thermostat stay tuned so here we are with the wiring. Got my sub base installed. Take note of the arrow. This arrow pointing up. Okay, so I have my power landed on RC, which is a red wire. Red wire. Now remember, if um, your colors are different, doesn't matter the colors is not arbitrary just remember that there is matching terminals that's on this thermostat in your HVAC equipment just so long as the wires connecting to, to R or RC matches the R or RC in your equipment then you're good to go so the colors is not arbitrary however this is the typical colors that an HVAC technician will use or an HVAC contractor if they have them available. So R, uh, uh, R, 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 C. That's right here is red, the power. This is a uh, dot, dot W for uh, heating, right? You can see that right there, it's a white wire. And you got uh, Y for cooling, it's a yellow wire, and uh, G, for your fan it's the green wire and once again remember the colors is not arbitrary do whatever you want with your colors just remember, just make sure that uh g whatever wire land on g terminal on the g terminal in your thermostat corresponds or land on the same g terminal in your hvac heating or cooling equipment colors doesn't matter However, this is a color scheme or the basic color scheme for HVAC technicians and pro. All right. Um, this thermostat, as you could see, there's no C. 
So it cannot be powered from your HVAC equipment. It has to use batteries. Also, if, you're, if you have a heat pump system, you would have an additional wire going to either B here, B, or O. These two terminals are for heat pump. People with heat pump are very special, right? So heat pump, meaning your the same uh, condenser that gives you cooling, gives you heating as well in the winter, or when it's cold outside. That's a heat pump system, right? So if you have a heat pump system, uh, if you are in say if you're in Florida, right down in that part, if you're down in the south, then your system is defaulted to cooling. So you're going to activate the reverse valve in your heat pump system uh, during the heating mode all right so you're gonna to have to put the wire on the b terminal that is if you're down south so you'll have a wire for your reverse involved if you have a heat pump heat pump system put it on the b terminal so whenever you are uh, uh, calling for heat then the uh the reverse valve will be active all right because the system will default it to cool if you're not activating the reversing valve, it's running and cooling because down soil is always hot. If you're in the northeast, like New York, and why, baby, then you'd put you have a, a heat pump system. You'll put the wire for your reversing valve on the terminal O because uh, the system will default to heating because you don't want to freeze and bust your pipes in the winter time. So you have to put the wires and put put your uh, reversing valve wire on O. And that's going to be reversing valve, and basically whenever you call for cooling, then your reversing valve will be activated. That's pretty much what that is. Um, if you have a heat pump system and you put your wire on either terminals, if you if you make a mistake, you will know because when you call for cooling, it will be blowing heat. When you call for heating, it will be blowing cold. Just come back in here and switch the wires. Okay. Also, if you have a heat pump system, if you have a heat pump system, you will not have any wire. Actually, you yes, you will still have a wire here on the W if you have some auxiliary heating. Maybe you got backup heat for electric electricity or electro electric heat uh, <laughs> electric duct heaters or electric heat as your auxiliary. Then you'll put a wire here if you have a heat pump system. You'll still have a wire here. All right, and this thermostat also single stage only, one cool, one heat. That's it, no multi stage. All right, so that's pretty much it for the wiring. Let's get into configuration just a quick note before we get into the setup um, there's a toggle switch in the back of the thermostat right and here if you have a, a forced air system with um, gas or oil you'll leave the switch over here for heating so you get for a forced air heat you get a furnace where there's a gas or oil fired furnace or powered furnace you leave the toggle over here if you have an electric electric heat you get an electric heater duct heater um, electric heater installed in your uh, your handler unit then you will push it over here okay and if you um, also if you have if you have a heat pump system if you are in Florida and you're special and you have a heat pump system remember heat pump you are the same compressor that gives you cooling gives you heat you will push it over here as well okay so i'm going to leave it in the gas or oil for this video okay let's get into the setup okay so so you put you'll snap the term you'll put the top on first and swing it down like you see I did it and to remove it bottom out first okay there you go that's it all right so to get into the setup menu you press these button up and down simultaneously press on old okay so there you go now there's not much in this menu as you can see we have one two just, an handf just a handful of things. All right, so number one, it says system type, select system type. Heating and cooling, gas or electric heating, 
uh, with central air conditioning or heat pump without auxiliary or backup heat okay uh, <laughs> so if you got a gas uh, powered furnace with a cooling coil or even if you have only a heating system alone it's just a heating uh, you only have heating then you leave it in zero all right if you have a, a heat pump system and you don't do not have auxiliary or backup heat then you leave it in zero so once again if you got a just a heating furnace alone you have you have a, no cooling on your system just heating alone you just got a heating furnace you got a heating a boiler hot water boiler a steam boiler leave that leave number one at zero all right so it, it revert back all right and if you have um a heat pump system like if you're down in florida down south then you will uh, set number one to one so let's get back in there because it came back out let's go back in all right so number one is at zero and i'm going to go ahead and leave it there because gas heat oil heat with central cooling or if you got a heat pump with, 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 without auxiliary heat. Okay. So let's see. You can change that to one. You can change that to zero. And I think set. No. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Let's get back in there. How do I advance this thing? Here with me, guys. Okay, so pardon me for that. This is real world, real time, real HVAC. So, all right, so this is a bit, a bit weird. All right, so we are going to leave our one, we're going to leave option one on zero. Let's just say we have a gas furnace, all right, heating and cooling. And, um, or we have a hot water boiler or a steam boiler. We'll leave it at one. But to advance, to advance to the next menu items, you have to press both buttons simultaneously. Come on. Okay, so five. All right? And five is select eating system, eating system optimization. Once again, if you if you are not familiar with what this is saying, you can leave it the way it is. But if you're familiar, you can make sense of it if you have a gas or a hall furnace select uh five in five and you can see you have from five to four three one now you have to okay from two to five okay oh two to six okay six if you get electric furnace use this system if you have any type of electric heating system okay so select six if it's electric heat Okay, select five if you have a uh, gas or oil furnace. Use the setting if you have the gas furnace under the efficiency, 90%, blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, three for a heat pump. Okay, all right, so pretty much you get the gist. All right, pretty straightforward. Two for gas slash oil steam. So if you got a, a steam or steam boiler, then you select number two, right? Gas or gas slash oil steam, gravity steam. Uh, use this setting if you have uh, a steam or gravity system. All right, yeah, so if you got a steam boiler or even a hot water boiler, you'll use um, this setting right here, number two. All right, let me zoom back out so you can see. You can take a screenshot of this uh, menu or, or manual if you don't have it. Okay, so let's advance to the other one, which is you got to press and hold simultaneously. All right, that's a bit strange. Okay, 13. So 13 is a early start. That's when you're using scheduling. You want to start the next inbound schedule ahead of time. Let's just say you were set to move temperature to 70 degrees at 6 p.m. Perhaps you'll start that start do, start your system from uh, 5 p.m. So you can on or off. Okay, one or one or zero, right? Okay, let's move to the next. 14. What does that say? Fahrenheit Celsius, okay. Zero Fahrenheit, one Celsius. Okay, you got you got one and zero. 
Okay. To the next 15 compressor protection. I would say leave that on one. Okay. Move to 20. Select clock piece per 24 or 12, military or regular. Pick your choice. You have zero on one, whichever one you want. Okay. All right. So let's move to the next. It's rather really simple or straightforward. There's not, there's not much in this actual menu here, but uh, just going through it anyways. Filter timer. I'll leave that off. If you want, you can select whichever timer you want for your filter to remind you with a filter light or filter on filter indicator on the screen whenever the time is run out or has run out. What else we got now? That's a 21. Let's see what else we got. We got 40. And uh, restore program schedule to default settings. Okay. So you get it off, you get it on default setting. So, so there's a factory setting in the programming this thermostat is able to do scheduling as well so the factory um, uh, 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 settings in the uh, come from the factory the schedule is set up a certain way so when you go in there and you make your changes later on if you want to revert back i don't know why you want to do that but anyways let's hit run run go back into our thermostat oh we're in celsius 6.5 degrees let's go back in and change that Okay, what number is that? 14. Fourteen. Zero. Run. <laughs> uh, it's still cold in my garage. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Video uploaded on a weekly basis. And if you have questions... Regarding this, this thermostat wiring configuration, just leave the questions in the comment section, all right? Okay, so setting the clock. Pretty straightforward. Set again. Set the day. Set again. Set your scheduling. Monday to Friday, week. 6 a.m. 6.15 a.m. Set again. Set the temperature you want. Set again, 8 a.m. leave. You can change whatever time is leave. You leave for work at 9, so you make it at 9. And hit set again. Set the temperature you want. Hit set again. Go to return. What time you're coming from work, you return, coming home. 6 p.m. Set again. Set the temperature you want. Set again. Uh, when you're sleeping. And then this is the weekend. Okay. All right. So you put your system, system and cool. And you can do a run schedule or you can hold wherever you want it. And it will stay there indefinitely.